<laughs> what is happening, Booth Junkies? Glad to be with you again today. Today I'm editing an audiobook. I've gotten my QA files back from uh, the audiobook publisher. I'm working with Brilliance Audio this time. And I've gotten my uh, QA check back from them. They've listened to the whole book and they found some words that they'd like me to have uh, repronounced or my editing. I might have left a phrase out or pronounced a word or added a word. It happens. Sometimes you, you, know, you talk for a long time and something comes out of your mouth and, you know, takes a couple of years to go back and find everything. So I've listened to the whole book, but there's, you know, some words that I need to redo. So they've sent me a list, a big old spreadsheet with words that uh, I need to repronounce or need to punch back in or to take out. The challenge that I have is they have it cut up into what will eventually be their final chapter points. So files approximately 20 minutes long cut at a certain, you know, where there's a break in the talking. I have a big seven hour wave file. I have my Reaper project uh, that I'm working on. So my times don't match up with theirs. So for example, the one I'm working on says it's nine, uh, nine minutes and 46 seconds into file number five. I have to figure out where that is in my big project plan. So there's first I need to go back and find it and I'll show you how I've been going back to find it. And then I'll show you how I fix the error. So it'll either be a punch in, finding an omission, whatever it is. I think in this case, I, I think I mispronounced a word or I missed a word. So they're going to want me to punch that in. So the first thing I need to do is I need to figure out where that is. Luckily, you know, they cut up my audio file. So the timing should be about the same. So I can use the metadata in the files to try and find where that is. So I know that this is my first edit in file number five. So I first have to figure out where file number four ends. And I need to figure that out by going to get info in Finder and figure out how long this file is. So this file, it says it is 21 minutes and two seconds. So I have put a marker in my Reaper project where that section ends. So let me zoom in on that particular section. And we'll see that begins with probably a break in a Wrote sentence. the man who packed his world on his back. But luckily with Reaper, it, we can create a selection and it will tell us how long that selection is. I'll send your attention down to the lower corner of my Reaper project. And you can see that there's a little time marker there. And as I start from where I've placed my marker and I start to make a selection, we can see that time growing. So now what I can do is I can drag that selection until it's 21 minutes and two seconds. 20, there we go, 21 minutes and two seconds. Now good, like, it looks like it's right at where a take was. So 21 minutes and two seconds. Let's listen to the end of that file and where we think the next file will Black Hills in. were to be rebranded from natural phenomenon to criminal at large. Wizards of Oz. In 1998, so this section, we'll see if chapter five begins with the, uh, the section title, Wizards of Oz. So let's see, we'll go into chapter five. We'll send that one to iTunes. And it does. Great, so, so now that I know where that section is, we'll go and we'll put a marker in Reaper so we'll always remember where that section begins. So we do that by, uh, for me, it's uh, hit M for marker and then edit. And I like to give my markers labels. So this is <clears throat> where chapter five, uh, file number five begins. And it's chapter 01. And I bet this is uh, C, section C of chapter one. Let's just see if that's the case. So now we'll go to the metadata of number five get info and let's see what that mp3 files name is uh oh it's chapter 1d so let's go back and fix that so edit the marker and it's chapter 01d and what's nice is i'll leave these markers back in there so that the engineer on the other end uh, when he gets my wave file i can send it with the markers in it and he'll actually be able to see where 001d begins so now i know that i need to go nine minutes and 46 seconds into this edit or into this particular chapter. And so I will highlight nine minutes and 40 some odd seconds. I just want to get close. 
So nine minutes and there we go, 40 seconds. So that'll work. And then I start playing from here and I have to look for a word that I can search in the PDF for to see if I can find where my mark is. Braska, a few had passed beyond into Minnesota, Iowa, Missouri, and Arkansas. The local stories coalesced into national headlines. From its resurgence to the Western Ranges and Badlands, to its promise, local stories coalesced. Coalesced is a word that I don't remember saying too frequently, so if I search for the word coalesced, maybe we'll find that chapter for you. Coalesced. Chapter, page 41. Okay, so now I have to figure out what I said wrong. So this says at 9 minutes and 46 seconds, I said the word to, T-O, and I probably wasn't supposed to. So let's go back and let's listen from this point where it coalesced forward, and let's see where I made the mistake. The local, the local stories coalesced into national headlines. From its resurgence to the western ranges, ah, so it, it was from its resurgence, it, the, the text is from its resurgence in the Western Ranges and Badlands. And I said from its resurgence to. The local stories coalesced into national headlines. From its resurgence to the Western Ranges and Badlands. So now I need to go, out, go and figure out how to get that corrected word in there without re-recording a ton. Because well, it's a waste of time and I don't want to mess up the files too bad. So let's see if we can find where that is in my waveform. For the eastern forests, the lion had become that rare form of conservation news known as national headlines. From its resurgence to the western range. Okay, so maybe I'll just re-record this phrase here. From its resurgence, I'll just, uh, let's just make sure. So if I hit, this is from its resurgence in the western ranges, so I should, from the resurgence to headlines from its resurgence to the western ranges and badlands okay so this is the phrase i want to re-record i just want to fix this one little section and i don't want to i'm going to try not to move the other files because i don't want to mess up the timing if i don't have to so the way we're going to do this is we're going to punch in that particular phrase and what's great is using reaper they have this punch in feature um, down here on the record button so you can right click on the record button and you'll see that there's the uh, selection that says time selection auto punch. So what this means is I can listen to myself talk when I hit record. If the cursor is not moving across the area of my time selection, then it will just play. Once it gets into the time selection, it will actually start to record and then it will stop automatically. So it's just this one particular phrase. And so the way I like to do a punch in is I start to actually talk and get into that same momentum and that same, uh, that same cadence. So that way it should hopefully just flow right into that section with only minor edits. So let's give it a shot. Let's see what we do. So I'll start from a few seconds before and I'll find my point. I usually point to my point here on the text so I know where I am. Here we go. Soda, Iowa, Missouri, okay. and, and Arkansas. Arkansas. The, the local, local stories coalesced, coalesced into national, national headlines. headlines. From its resurgence in the Western Ranges and Badlands to its promising forays. I didn't like that. Let's listen. Well, headlines. From its resurgence in the Western Ranges and Badlands to its promising for. That doesn't sound quite right, does it? So let's uh, control Z. We'll take that take out and then we'll put it again. But you notice there it put it in as a second take. It didn't obliterate the first one. It just put it in as an alternate take for that particular phrase. So I might have to do this a couple of times uh, to get the cadence and my voice to sound exactly right. The other thing you should really do when you're doing this is make sure your head your headphones, make sure your volume is down as low as it can be so it, uh, you can hear it, but you don't want the bleed from your headphones ending, at, ending back up in your microphone because that can happen from time to time and you, you don't want that to happen. So let's try and punch that section again. Arkansas. The local, the local stories, stories coalesced, coalesced into national headlines. headlines. From its resurgence in the western ranges and badlands to its, to promising, its promising forays toward the east. Let's see Arkansas. The local stories coalesced into national headlines. From its resurgence in the western ranges and badlands to, to its promising forays. So I'm still a little bit energetic. Let's do it one more time and I'll try and take my energy down just a little tiny bit. So I'm clearly in a different headspace I was than I was when I recorded this. So I have to try and get my head back into there. So I think I need to be just a little tiny bit uh, mellower. <clears throat> Arkansas. The local, local stories, stories coalesced into national headlines. headlines. From its resurgence in the western ranges and badlands to, to its, its promising, promising forays toward the east. Let's see. Arkansas. 
the local stories coalesced into national headlines. From its resurgence in the western ranges and badlands to its promising forays toward the eastern forest. That actually felt pretty good. Let's listen back one more time. Arkansas. The local stories coalesced into national headlines. From its resurgence in the western ranges and badlands to its promising... So my volume isn't quite right. I'm probably slightly different uh, distance from the microphone. But let's see if we can fix that by just adjusting the volume of this particular take. And at the top of a take and reaper, if you drag down, you will lower that particular volume. Let's see, does that do it for both sides? It does it for both sides. So we're just going to take it down by a couple of decibels. Blessed into national headlines. From its resurgence in the western ranges and badlands, to its promising forays toward the eastern four. Okay, so that, that sounds uh, about right from a volume perspective, but the timing is still just a little bit wrong. So I need to slip that take a little bit forward uh, because the gap between the, uh, the end of what I recorded and where it fits in the next section, that doesn't feel quite right. So I need to slip that, uh, that section in between. If you try and move something in Reaper, it's going to move the whole, th the whole thing if you have ripple editing turned on. Uh, but we don't want to do that. So there's a modifier that you can use to uh, to slip the recording and just slide that little recording inside the space, inside that time selection. Um, so if you hold down the option key, you see how I can slide back and forth and I can slip it. Now what's also cool about that is it did continue to record even though it wasn't in the time selection. It just doesn't show up. Um, so if I did need to, you know, grab that extra word to make it fit, I can do that. Uh, but I'm just going to slip it and see if I can make that timing feel just a little tiny bit better. From its resurgence in the western ranges and badlands to its promising forays. That's pretty good. Let's just slip it for a tiny, tiny bit. From its resurgence in the western ranges and badlands to its promising forays toward. Great. So even though these were recorded weeks apart, it actually sounds like it was right there. Let's just listen to the uh, to the lead in. Make sure that timing is right too. into national headlines. From its resurgence in the western ranges and badlands to its promising forays. Great. So now I fixed that error. I auto-punched in. I found my location. I auto-punched it in. And now I can save it and scratch it off my list and move forward. So I'm actually working here. This isn't just for YouTube. I'm actually working here. So let's move forward. And so I have a, a bunch of those to do. And I'll go back and fix them. And then I'll send this with my markers uh, back off to them for uh, another round of quality assurance. And hopefully this should be the last time because I'll go back and check each one of these as I do it. So I hope that helps. I hope that shows you uh, how you might do an audiobook editing if you're working with a remote director. I've never spoken with this person. We're just, uh, we're just communicating over email. But it's a pretty good indicator of the type of workflow you'll do as a home uh, voice artist working remotely with somebody else and how you might communicate over files. And even if you're not speaking with the same files, how you can find the edits quickly and move forward. So remember your markers, remember about punching in, and remember about slipping that audio. And you'll, uh, you'll find yourself uh, saving a whole lot of time when you're doing your editing. I hope this helps. Now, get in your booth and record something amazing.